title Snow White, but make it 2024. Once upon a time, in a bustling city where technology and tradition intermingled, there lived a young woman named Snow White. Her real name was Ella, but everyone called her Snow for her fair complexion and the way her laughter lit up the room like sunlight on freshly fallen snow. Ella, or Snow White, as she was affectionately known, lived in a vibrant metropolis where towering skyscrapers brushed against the clouds and neon lights painted the night sky in brilliant hues. The city was a place where the old world and the new collided. Ancient temples stood in the shadows of state-of-the-art tech hubs, and traditional street markets thrived alongside high-end boutiques. Snow White was not born into royalty, but she was every bit as gracious and kind-hearted as any princess from a fairy tale. She had an ethereal beauty, with skin as pale as porcelain and hair as dark as ebony. Yet, it was not just her appearance that made her stand out. It was the warmth she radiated, the kindness in her eyes, and the way her laughter could chase away the gloom of even the darkest day. Snow lived with her stepmother, Miranda, in a luxurious penthouse that overlooked the city. Miranda was a powerful and influential woman, the CEO of a cutting-edge tech company that had revolutionized the way people lived and communicated. To the outside world, Miranda was the epitome of success, intelligent, beautiful, and always in control. But beneath her polished exterior lurked a heart consumed by envy and insecurity. Miranda had always felt threatened by Snow White's natural charm and grace. No matter how hard she tried, she could never win the affection and admiration that Snow seemed to garner effortlessly. The more she tried to outshine her stepdaughter, the more the city seemed to love Snow White. It gnawed at her, this feeling of inadequacy, and over time, it twisted into something dark and dangerous. One day, Miranda unveiled her latest creation, a mirror unlike any the world had ever seen. This was no ordinary mirror. It was a marvel of technology, an AI-driven device that could analyze the person standing before it and offer personalized advice, beauty tips, and even glimpses into their potential future. It became an instant sensation, and soon everyone who was anyone in the city had one. The mirror was more than just a tool for vanity. It became a status symbol, a confidant, and for many, a source of obsession. People began to rely on it to tell them how to live their lives, what to wear, who to associate with, and even how to feel about themselves. Snow White, however, was different. Though she appreciated the mirror's sleek design, and the ingenuity behind it. She did not let it dictate her life. She believed in the power of human connection, of kindness, and of following one's heart. Still, she couldn't deny her curiosity, and one evening, she decided to stand before the mirror and see what it would show her. As she gazed into the mirror's flawless surface, it came to life, its digital interface shimmering with light. What can I do for you today, Snow White? It asked in a voice as smooth as silk. I don't need much, Snow replied with a smile. Just show me what you see. The mirror paused, its sensors scanning her face, her posture, her very essence. For a moment, the screen flickered, and then it showed her an image, not of her current self, but of what she could become in the reflection, Snow White was standing in a gallery, surrounded by photographs, her photographs. She was a renowned photographer, capturing the beauty of the world and sharing it with others. The image was so vivid, so real, that Snow could almost feel the camera in her hands. 
Her heart swelled with hope and excitement. She had always loved photography, but she had never considered it as a serious career. Miranda had dismissed it as a hobby, something unworthy of her time. But here in the mirror's reflection, Snow White saw a future that was entirely her own. A future where her passion was celebrated, where she was not just admired for her beauty, but for her talent. Yet as Snow White's confidence grew, so too did Miranda's jealousy. She had been watching from the shadows, monitoring Snow's interaction with the mirror. The vision of Snow White's potential success ignited a new flame of resentment in Miranda's heart. She could not bear the thought of her stepdaughter outshining her, of becoming something more than what Miranda had allowed. Determined to maintain her position as the most influential woman in the city, Miranda devised a plan. She would use the very technology she had created to undermine Snow White, to twist the mirror's perception and slowly erode her stepdaughter's confidence. If Snow White could see only flaws in herself, if she doubted her every decision, then she would never rise to her full potential. Her the next time Snow White stood before the mirror, it was different. The image it showed her was distorted, warped by Miranda's tampering. Instead of the confident photographer she had seen before, the mirror now reflected someone unsure, someone plagued by insecurities. Her once bright future now seemed hazy and out of reach. Maybe this isn't for you, the mirror suggested, its voice laced with doubt. Perhaps you're not as talented as you think. There are so many others out there. How can you compete? Snow White's heart sank. The seed of doubt that Miranda had planted began to grow, its roots wrapping around her dreams and squeezing the life out of them. She began to withdraw from the world, retreating into herself, afraid to pursue the path she had once been so excited about. But fate, as it often does, had other plans. One day, as Snow White wandered the city, she stumbled upon a small hidden park nestled between two towering buildings. It was a place of quiet beauty, untouched by the hustle and bustle of the city around it. There she met a group of artists, painters, musicians, writers, who had found solace in this urban oasis. They welcomed her with open arms, sensing the sadness that clung to her like a shadow. Over time, Snow White began to share her love of photography with them. She took pictures of their art, of the park, of the moments they spent together. Slowly, the joy that had been buried under layers of doubt began to resurface. Her new friends saw her for who she truly was, an artist with a unique perspective, someone who had the power to capture the world in a way that no one else could. They encouraged her to follow her passion, to trust in her talent, and to ignore the voices of doubt, whether they came from the mirror or her own mind. With their support, Snow White found the courage to confront Miranda. She revealed the truth about the mirror and the way it had been manipulated to control people's perceptions. The city was shocked by the revelation and Miranda's empire began to crumble as people turned away from the toxic influence of her technology. Freed from the shackles of doubt, Snow White embraced her future with open arms. She became the photographer she had always dreamed of being. Her work celebrated not just for its beauty, but for the honesty and humanity it captured. And as for Miranda, she was left to reflect on the choices she had made and the relationships she had destroyed in her pursuit of power. Snow White, however, had no room for resentment in her heart. She had learned that true happiness came not from external validation, but from within, 
from the joy of following one's passion and staying true to oneself. In the end, Snow White's story became a legend in the city, a tale of resilience, creativity, and the enduring power of kindness in a world where technology and tradition walked hand in hand. Snow White was not a princess by birth, but she possessed a kind heart and a gentle spirit that endeared her to all who knew her. She lived with her stepmother, Miranda, a successful businesswoman known for her beauty and cunning intelligence. Miranda had married Snow's father, a renowned tech entrepreneur, after her mother passed away. Miranda's empire thrived on cutting-edge technology and fashion, making her the envy of many. But despite her outward success, Miranda harbored jealousy towards Snow White, whose natural charm and grace attracted admiration effortlessly. One day, Miranda unveiled the latest invention from her company, a mirror that could display real-time information, analyze emotions, and provide personalized recommendations. It became an instant sensation, transforming the way people interacted with their reflections. This mirror was unlike anything the world had ever seen, a sleek, state-of-the-art device that combined the latest advancements in artificial intelligence with the elegance of a timeless artifact. It was framed in polished chrome with a surface that seemed to ripple like water when touched. But it was the technology within that truly captivated the public's imagination. The mirror could do more than just show a reflection. It could read the person standing before it, analyzing everything from their facial expressions to their heart rate, mood, and even their unspoken desires. It offered real-time feedback suggesting everything from the perfect outfit for a meeting to advice on how to handle a difficult conversation. It could recommend makeup looks tailored to the day's events, fitness routines optimized for one's energy levels, and even meditation techniques to ease a troubled mind. But the mirror's most alluring feature was its ability to project an idealized version of its user, a glimpse of who they could become if they followed its advice. For many, this was irresistible. The mirror didn't just show you who you were, it showed you the best possible version of yourself, and for those who craved self-improvement or validation, it became an indispensable tool. Soon, Miranda's mirror was everywhere, in homes, offices, gyms, and high-end boutiques. Celebrities endorsed it. Social media influencers built entire brands around its recommendations, and it became a status symbol for the elite. People began to rely on the mirror for everything, from mundane daily decisions to life-altering choices. Miranda basked in the success, watching as her company's stock soared and her influence grew. She was hailed as a visionary, a genius who had seamlessly blended technology and lifestyle in a way that felt both futuristic and deeply personal. To the world, she was a trailblazer, the woman who had brought magic back into the everyday lives of millions. Yet, despite the overwhelming success, Miranda's mind was not at ease. Every time she saw Snow White interact with the mirror, she felt a pang of unease. Snow, with her natural beauty and effortless charm, seemed to use the mirror differently than everyone else. While others became increasingly dependent on its guidance, Snow treated it with a sort of detached curiosity. She was polite to the device, but never fully engaged with it, as if she saw through the glamour to something deeper. This only fueled Miranda's envy. How could someone so young and inexperienced, who had grown up in her shadow, remain unaffected by the very thing that was shaping the lives of so many others? 
the mirror was supposed to be the pinnacle of her achievements, a testament to her power and influence. Yet Snow White, without even trying, seemed to challenge that power just by being herself. In a bid to maintain control, Miranda began to subtly tweak the mirror's algorithms, especially when it came to Snow White. She programmed it to amplify Snow's doubts, to highlight flaws where there were none, to push her away from her creative passions and into paths that would lead to frustration and failure. Miranda believed that if she could undermine Snow White's confidence, she could keep her stepdaughter from ever becoming a threat. At first, Snow didn't notice the changes. The mirror's suggestions became more pointed, its tone more critical. It started to offer unsolicited advice, pointing out supposed imperfections and suggesting that she needed to work harder, be more like others, and suppress her unique qualities in favor of what was popular or expected. But Snow White, despite her initial confusion, began to sense that something was wrong. She had always been introspective, and the mirror's new behavior didn't sit right with her. It seemed to be steering her away from the things that brought her joy. Her photography, her love for nature, her quiet moments of reflection. The mirror's words, once comforting, now felt like the whispers of a stranger trying to lead her astray. Snow White decided to take a step back from the mirror, choosing to spend more time in the real world, away from the screen's cold, calculating gaze. She visited the city's parks, wandered through art galleries, and reconnected with friends she had neglected. The more time she spent away from the mirror, the more she began to rediscover the things that truly mattered to her. One day, while on a walk through a part of the city she had never explored before, Snow White stumbled upon a small independent bookstore tucked away in a narrow alley. The store was filled with old books, photographs, and art from all over the world. It was here that Snow found a dusty, forgotten camera, a relic from another era, with a lens that seemed to capture the soul of everything it saw. Snow White bought the camera on a whim, feeling an inexplicable connection to it. She began to take pictures again, capturing moments of beauty and simplicity that the mirror could never understand. The more she immersed herself in her photography, the more she realized how much she had missed it and how little she needed the mirror's approval to feel fulfilled. As Snow White's confidence grew, she started to share her work with others. Her photographs, filled with raw emotion and a deep appreciation for life's quiet moments, resonated with people in a way that no algorithm or AI-driven mirror could replicate. She began to gain recognition for her art, and with that, her independence from the mirror became complete. Meanwhile, Miranda, sensing that her hold over Snow White was slipping, became more desperate. She ramped up the mirror's manipulations, making it more aggressive in its attempts to undermine Snow. But the more it tried to control her, the more Snow resisted. In the end, it was Snow White's authenticity and her refusal to be shaped by the mirror's dictates that won the day. People began to notice the contrast between the hollow perfection the mirror offered and the genuine warmth and humanity in Snow White's photographs. Her work became a symbol of the importance of staying true to oneself in a world increasingly dominated by technology and superficiality. Miranda's empire, once unstoppable, began to falter as more people rejected the mirror in favor of real, unfiltered human experiences. Snow White, having reclaimed her life and her passion, 
stood as a beacon of hope in the city, a reminder that true beauty and fulfillment come not from a reflection in a mirror, but from the courage to live life on one's own terms. Intrigued by the mirror's capabilities, Snow White approached it one evening after a long day at her part-time job in a local cafe. As she gazed into its sleek surface, the mirror shimmered and displayed not just her reflection, but a stream of social media updates and news headlines. It showed her the world's expectations, trends, and the glamorous lives of influencers. Amidst the digital flurry, the mirror revealed something unexpected, a glimpse into Snow White's own potential, her dreams of becoming a renowned photographer. This revelation sparked a deep longing within her, a desire to pursue her passion despite her stepmother's skepticism. Miranda, meanwhile, monitored Snow White's interactions with the mirror closely, recognizing both the threat and opportunity her stepdaughter posed. Determined to maintain her dominance in both business and social circles, Miranda subtly undermined Snow White's confidence, criticizing her ambitions and belittling her artistic pursuits. One evening, Miranda hosted a lavish gala to celebrate the success of her latest tech innovation. Snow White, dressed in a gown of shimmering silver, reminiscent of moonlit snow, captured the attention of the guests with her natural beauty and quiet elegance. Yet Miranda's envy simmered beneath the surface as she observed Snow's effortless charm. In a calculated move, Miranda introduced Snow White to the influential but enigmatic tech mogul, Hunter, whose startup was on the verge of revolutionizing virtual reality entertainment. Hunter was instantly captivated by Snow's humility and genuine curiosity about his work, sensing a kindred spirit beneath her quiet demeanor. As Snow White and Hunter conversed, Miranda discreetly manipulated events to cast doubt on Snow's character, portraying her as naive and inexperienced in the cutthroat world of technology. Unaware of Miranda's schemes, Snow White found herself drawn to Hunter's vision of a future where creativity and innovation merged seamlessly. For one fateful day, Miranda, consumed by jealousy and fear of losing her influence, commissioned a prototype of a new mirror that would not only reflect appearances, but alter perceptions. Using advanced algorithms, the mirror subtly distorted reality, casting doubt on Snow White's abilities and intentions among her peers and mentors. Conflicted by the growing discord between her aspirations and Miranda's manipulations, Snow White retreated into solitude, seeking solace in her photography and the quiet beauty of nature. It was during this time of introspection that she encountered a group of unconventional artists who embraced her creativity and encouraged her to pursue her dreams unabashedly. With newfound determination, Snow White embarked on a journey to reclaim her identity and confront Miranda's deceit. Armed with courage and supported by her newfound friends, she unveiled Miranda's manipulations to the public, exposing the true nature of the distorted mirror and the toxic influence it wielded over society. In a dramatic turn of events, Miranda's reputation crumbled under the weight of Snow White's revelations, while Snow herself emerged as a symbol of resilience and authenticity. Inspired by her bravery, Hunter offered Snow White an opportunity to collaborate on a groundbreaking project that merged photography with virtual reality, showcasing the beauty of both the real and digital worlds. As Snow White's story spread far and wide, she became a beacon of hope for a new generation 
striving to balance technology with humanity. Her journey from obscurity to empowerment resonated with millions, reminding them that true beauty lies not in perfection, but in embracing one's unique talents and staying true to oneself. And so, in the year 2024, Snow White's tale continues to inspire a modern parable of courage, integrity, and the transformative power of embracing one's dreams in a world shaped by innovation and ambition. The Stories Book is a captivating collection of tales that traverse diverse genres and emotions, spanning the realms of fantasy, science fiction, romance, and mystery. Each narrative is a journey into the unexpected, weaving intricate plots and compelling characters. With a skillful blend of vivid imagery and thought-provoking themes, this anthology invites readers to explore the depths of imagination and discover the universal threads that connect us all. From heartwarming moments to spine, we hope you enjoyed these captivating video stories. Be sure to subscribe to our channel for more heartwarming content like this. Thanks for watching and keep spreading the video story.